What's up guys? Patreon request today from Sayonor Core. So this is Toji Fushiguro from Jujutsu Kaisen, the manga, a character we haven't been introduced yet in the, I haven't read Jujutsu Kaisen manga, I know, but I kind of, I kind of like the anime so much, I don't want to know, <laughs> so I'm not going to read it, probably not, maybe till after, but uh, yes, yeah, so this guy kind of got this weird creature on his back, like kissing his sword or something. So let's give this a go. I'm on landscape page, pencil eraser, hip pose if I go too fast. So his face is in profile. It's three quarter kind of, but mostly profile. So we're gonna start with his nose, right? So we'll go with this sort of L shaped. Center point to my page about here, come up over to the left. And we'll go out, carve it out, down and in. Let's see, you got this kind of L shaped thing. Going in like that. And then his nostril will be here. Okay, so then up here, his brow, his eyebrow kind of sticks out this way. So it becomes this kind of S-like shape. Right, so his eyebrow on the other side, it's just a line that goes like off this way. Right, like that. So we're a manga drawn now. So just across from this area, see where this curves here? Underneath the eyebrow, we got his eye, right? So, go across, top eyelid, right? Kind of flat, like that. And then it comes back down towards the corner there. You can like thicken up his top eyelid a little bit. And he's got like top eyelid line here. His iris and pupil. So we'll go like that and the pupil there. So the other eye, you can you can see a little bit of it, right? So it's like drawn in here, like the eyelash top eyelid and then this goes underneath hair but you can see like a little bit of his other eye in there and then the bottom of that just there and his cheek like so and then what we can see of his pupil just kind of looking off to the left hand side there as well so we'll finish his face top lip kind of sticks out there goes in Bottom lip then sticks out and then goes in. So like the lips are like this letter M sort of shape when they're closed, right? And it'll go down to his chin then. And you gotta draw the line for the inside of his mouth. Right, so we'll go. And it's got a weird kind of, just this style. that okay All right so then chin comes in up and this can keep going to the jaw but there's a gap in the picture I'm drawing from so you just jump that line and just bring it up the side of his jaw. And then his ear will be here, sticking out. And then you can do some ear lines. Like so. So there's like hatching for his neck, so we'll just do neck muscle line in there. And then his Adam's apple comes out from underneath his chin, sort of here. And then the back of his hair spikes out this way. And then eventually goes down the back of his head for his neck. Go 
for quite thick sort of neck. It's then the rest of his hair, so all these hair spikes coming down across his face. All right, like that. Covering like some of his eye and stuff. Nose a little bit pointier. It's always tricky drawn from manga. His hair comes up the top and kind of goes around the back here. down like so right so he's got this big snake thing that comes across his body right so it kind of like bumps down here and goes underneath his arm somewhere here comes out from the side of his head, but like beside his neck here. And he has like just all texture lines and stuff on this. Okay. And then the color of his shirt, so it's just like here, neck muscle line there, and then his like trapezius comes down like this way, and his shoulder comes out here. So just these two curved lines, right? And his collarbone kind of comes over to there. You might have like some lines for his trapezius muscle, and then his shoulder. Your shoulder is kind of like this love heart shape, right there your deltoid muscles, right? And then you've got like tricep there, bicep on the front. And then his forearm comes off down here, elbow goes off my page just there, elbow line. Line for his t-shirt, like so, and then like forearm lines just in there. Okay, so then his chest comes out here. Center line for the chest, like there. So these are like chest muscles. And then he has an, the creature's sort of foot or something coming around here. So like a toe. It's a toenail, it's like a frog's foot or something.
this kind of thing and wraps around his body. So then his like abs just come down here and his back goes down that way. So like the ab lines will go and then his waistband is here. Going down to his legs, right? So this manga artist draws this stuff quite quick. Yeah, you can kind of tell. So lots of these sort of quick lines to show where the abs are, like his waistband or something there, like maybe like more muscle lines. Rib cage, stuff like that. Okay, and he has um, something sticking out here. I think it's like his a scarf or something wrapped around his waist. Maybe like all these fold lines and stuff there. Okay, so then he's an arm coming out here holding a sword. So let's go for it. elbow and then like shoulder bicep area here so the bicep is just like drawn in like that and then his t-shirt sleeve like this here and then the forearm like so like you have an elbow like your wrist bone sort of thing here so the forearm will go up this way join the hand these Where's it that? Arm lines. he does a lot of this cross hatching just across a line like that right so the hand joins the holds a sword right so we'll just draw we'll go up and do knuckles right so like a mountain range, one, two, three, four, right? And then this will go down to his fingers. Each one is a finger. They're kind of square ends on them. That's the way this guy draws them. Like this. Square ends on the fingers. And then this last one sort of goes around because it's holding the handle of the sword. You can add fingernails. Like that. And then, you know, sort of knuckle lines and stuff. There, and his thumb will be just on this side. So the sword itself, so coming out here, so see the handle, goes out this way around like that. And it's got like a circle or an ellipse on the end. And then the hilt, it's kind of unusual shape. Goes around there. Down this way. And lots of these circles on it. It's probably a mixture of shading and sort of different levels to it. And then we will go out for the blade itself. It's got two parts and it kind of sticks up. this right so it's like a bit of coral or something 
And let's go like the thing in here. And then all these kind of edge lines. hair's all black anyway right so then that thing that's on his back right so it's weird so there's like a lip lips coming around from the sword right i don't know if there's blood or something oozing from the mouth but we'll just draw this in like it's kind of dark in here but then there's like a drip coming down from it Okay, and then we've got you know, like what looks like a nose there. And there's sort of not, well, it's actually a bigger nostril sort of thing. And this goes around for its head and it like bumps around here. I can't see it because there's a speech bubble in the way, but I'm gonna assume it just like bumps down this way. And then the front of the body here. And he's got these tiny little stumpy legs. Right, and then like a closed eye here and a closed eye up here somewhere. Like cheeks and round kind of texture lines and stuff on them. Eyelids round again. And like all these weird little hairs sticking up. so strange. I'd be interested to see this animated. It's obviously some sort of curse that he uses. Okay, but that's the main idea. That is how to draw Toji. Toji Fushiguro from Jujutsu Kaisen from the manga. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for the request. Anyone else have real specific requests like this, head over to Patreon and I'll give it a go. Thanks for your support, Sayonara Core. Hope this helped you out. See you in the next one. Bye.